Okay, hello everybody, this is Scott and I am back with another video and today we will be looking at Google Chrome Canary version. I don't, I don't know how you pronounce that, I mean, Canary, Chrome Canary, I don't know. Um, we're going to quickly just um, check how much it takes to uninstall this. I'm expecting it to be slightly smaller than that of Google Chrome, but we can't say for sure. So we're going to type in Chrome and it's using a little bit more that's that's okay three three seventy five point nine nine megabytes huge file size chrome i don't know chrome is almost like a mini operating system in the end of itself i mean if you ever use chrome os you'll see that this thing is just a freaking op it's just a browser but chrome has a lot of potential in what it uses i don't care about that so now we're just gonna come over here and we're going to see how much RAM that it uses upon sitting on plain old Google very very simple and uh... crap which Google which Chrome is the right Chrome which there it is Google Chrome alright so I'm gonna end these other ones oops I closed Chrome oh no I broke Chrome that's fine. All right, so I've already cl I think I closed off all the old ones, and we have 28, 18, and 17. And this one is because I didn't close the old one properly. So we're just gonna say, hold on. Had a sneeze there. Sorry. Uh, 17. We're just gonna say 17, 17, 34, 35 and uh, 65 RAM just for sitting on here. I don't know why this browser is so much heavier, but even with it being heavier, it is still lighter than that of um, uh, Firefox. Uh, we're gonna run our security test from browser scope. Run the security test. And it got the same exact score as regular Chrome because they're using the same exact um, kit design, which means I'm expecting very, very similar results on the. All right, and as we could see, we've uh, ran our basic test with Chrome, and uh, it's getting 463, which means I can already assume that it's going to get the Acid 3 test as a pass. And the CSS3, I'm going to say, is actually going to be different because Chrome is notorious for being strange. Yep, 66, it's, slice, it's just slightly beat out Google Chrome. And Chrome Canary is just slightly better in that sense. And uh, 66, and because of that, we're gonna rerun the Acid 3 test and just see if it fails, I doubt it. There we go, every browser should pass the Acid 3 test. If it doesn't, the people making it are stupid. Like Apple. How could you make a browser that does not pass the Acid 3 test? It's a freaking simple display test, people. Come on. And, wait, why did I run that test? Which one did I skip? The speed test. And then we have our speed test. Dun dun dun. Is this version of Chrome ever e even faster than the old one? Hard to tell. It seems to have better scores with, uh, HTML5, CSS, maybe it won't be as fast here, maybe it will. We're just looking for a ping, a lower ping, uh, same thing. Only one that gave me a lower ping so far was uh, good old uh, Firefox over there. So we're just going to quickly break down what we have so far. All we have left is to do uh, Opera and Maxathon. And as I mentioned in my other videos, just make sure you check out my website to get the link to download this file or just to look at it on the site. They'll both be in the same uh, post, so you can look at both. If you have any questions relating to the test or the uh, uh, what bra the browsers that I'm using, uh, please consult the uh, site before you ask me any obvious questions like, are you, what, did you test, uh, did you test Safari? There's a little disclaimer down here. Safari is no longer supported, so all test results are still current. Uh, that's why I only did the test once, and I didn't feel like doing it again. So thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for the next video, and I'll be doing Opera right after this. 
Let's see if Opera is actually way better than it used to be. Kind of hope so. I always liked Opera. So thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.